and welcome to a Sunday Night Sports Special with the man of the hour in the AFL, Rayshon Kaiser, the newest member of the LA Kiss. Rayshon, happy Memorial Day, and thanks for giving us this interview on such short notice. Uh, thanks for having me, no problem. All right, to recap today, you were traded from the New Orleans Voodoo to the LA Kiss. Uh, just give me your first reaction uh, from when you heard you were traded. Um, I was excited. Uh, but I spoke with Kevin Guy when he talked about trading me. LA Kiss was one of the first teams I brought up. So it was actually a place I wanted to be anyway. So actually it worked out for me at the end. Like you said with uh, Kevin Guy, you were in camp this year with the Arizona Rattlers and then were dealt to the New Orleans Voodoo after camp. Uh, can you talk about your experience in New Orleans this year a little bit and how it was? Um, I appreciate everything New Orleans did for me. I appreciate them bringing me into their organization and trying to help change it around. But at the end of the day, New Orleans just didn't feel like home for me. Um, it was nothing personal against that organization. It just didn't feel like home. I wanted to go to a place that actually felt like home. I feel like L.A. is a place I can call home for the rest of the season. Now, do you have any input on being traded from New Orleans? Have an input? Yeah. Well, no input. Um, I, I, I think um, Coach Dean Coquino and, you know, Brandon, the general manager up there, bring me in. Like I said, it's not personal, it's all business, so they had, they had to do what was best for, uh, for the organization. Now, do you think you'll be active this week against Jacksonville? Do you feel you'll be practicing with the team this week? Uh, so, our coach's decision, um, I plan on getting to L.A. this week sometime, so it all depends on if they're ready for me to play this week. Have you spoke with Coach Bob McMillan yet about being traded to L.A.? Yeah, me and Bob talked um, a little earlier today. Um, I know they're excited to get me aboard. I'm excited to be aboard for the L.A. Kids. So, like I said, I'm looking forward to this new start. With L.A.'s recent struggles this year, how do you feel you'll fit in with L.A. as a player and a leader? And What do you feel you're going to need to do to help to get this team tur to turn around? Well, I know they only need. But one thing I noticed about L.A., they have a lot of talent on their team. And, uh... Like I said, I'm just bringing some leadership present in there and uh, try to help some of these young guys understand the game a little better and try to get this team to turn it around and hopefully sneak into the playoffs. How excited are you to play with former Philadelphia Soul teammate Donovan Morgan? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, Donovan, he's a great player, man. He makes a lot of plays uh, week in and week out. So just having him on offense, having a player like his caliber on offense, having a player like me on defense, I think we can do some big things in that way. L.A. has been the worst defense in the league this year. You know, for you going out there, what's the mindset for you as a player, knowing you're going to a struggling team? And how do you – does it hurt you at all, you know, to go out from a team like Arizona, one of the, the best in the league, then to New Orleans and now to L.A.? How, how are you doing personally with that? Uh, I know at the end of the day it's all business. Um, most of these teams got to do what's best for the organization. And um, like I said, at the end of the day it's all business. Um, like I said, I feel like I'm a, I'm a great player in this league, so I feel like I can help any organization and turn their defense around. Like, maybe I'm I'm the savior for the L.A. kids. You never know. So, uh, maybe I can help L.A. turn his uh, worst defense into a better defense. So, that's my mentality going into there. How excited are you to play for Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, two members of KISS? Uh, I'm very excited, actually. It should be a great experience. I'm mean, actually excited to meet them. Um like, I've seen him on the TV last year, so I, that's pretty much as close as I got into him. So, it'd be pretty cool to actually meet them in person and um, see what type of people they are. This will be your first year playing out in the Western Conference. Can you talk about the talent out there a little bit with Arizona and San Jose? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they always, from history, they've been the best like, teams on that side over there. Um, Arizona's been up to the arena about the last what, four or five years, so... They're doing something right there, and uh, San Jose, they're the best team in the league this year so far. So, like I say, we're going to match up with them. I mean, the arena ball going to have to go through San Jose and Arizona, so hopefully we can sneak some games out to get in the playoffs and make a run. All right, thank you very much for your time, Sean. and here at Sunday Sports, we wish you the best of luck in L.A. All right, thank you.